Probability of simple combined events. You will find this on page 631 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Probability of simple combined events. So far, we have considered examples where we were concerned with a single event. You can go through the grade 9 videos to revise probability of simple single events. However, it may be that we have several events occurring and we want to find the probability of particular combinations of these events occurring or not occurring. We will now look at the OR rule for mutually exclusive events and the AND rule for independent events. The first one, addition of probabilities and mutually exclusive events. The general rule for mutually exclusive events is called the addition law of probability. Two events are mutually exclusive if they cannot occur at the same time. For example, rolling a die. Event A will be 2, 4 and 6, all the even numbers on the dice. And event B is 1 and 3, odd numbers on the dice. They are mutually exclusive. This is because when the dice shows 2, 4 or 6, it definitely cannot show 1 and 3. So the two, if you represent it as sets, there will be no intersection between the sets. So for OR, you add the probabilities. Let's look at an example. A club holds an election for the post of chairperson. The probabilities that the candidates Kisha and Nashala will be elected are 0 0.36 and 0 0.47 respectively. Find the probability that either Kisha or Nasala will be elected. So let A be the event that Kisha will be elected and B be the event that Nashala will be elected. Since there is only one chairperson, the events A and B are mutually exclusive and therefore the probabilities are added. So the probability either Kisha or Nashala will be elected, so it's P, A or B, that will be P, A plus P, B, and that will be adding up the two probabilities that will give you a result of 0, 0.83. P, neither Kisha nor Nashala will be elected. So it's 1, can you remember it from single events? You take a certainty, a certainty is always 1, and you subtract this outcome, which is 0, 0.83, and then that will be 0, 0.17. Okay, stop the video and do try now six number three. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. The letters of the words mutually and the word exclusive are written on individual cards and the cards are put into a box. A card is picked at random. Okay, let's write down the words. Do it in capital letters. It helps you and leave a little bit of space between the letters just to identify it a little bit better. So the capital letters help you with the L and the I's especially. So this mutually. And then the other word is exclusive. Again, a capital. And do that in a capital also, exclusive. Okay, now let's just count how many cards there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. There are 17 cards. Okay. So, what is the probability of picking just a U? This is a single event. So, let's just write it down. Number A, the probability of picking just the letter U. And now we're going to count the letters U. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 
two, three. So that probability will be three out of that total, which is 17. Okay, number B. The letter E. So the probability, it's again a single event, the letter E. So let's just find that letter E. Um, let's just see. It's just that one and that one. So that will only be 2 out of 17. Okay, number C. What is the probability of, now it's a combined event, U and E. So basically, we will just add it now. We will say 3 over 17 plus that 2 over 17 and there's no overflowing. It can either be an E or a U, not both. So that will give you a total of 5 over 17. Okay, number D. A consonant. Okay, can you remember what's the consonant? It's not the vowel, so it's going to be, let's just count it. Uh, it's this one, one, two, that's vowels. That's also three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and it's just going to be 10. So we are going to write it as probability of a consonant. Okay, and that will give you an answer of 10 over 17. Okay, and now the next one, the letter U or a consonant. Now let's just go up. So it's now going to be the letter U and a consonant. Okay. And that is going to give you an answer of, okay, so where was the letter U? It was that 3 over 17. The pen is just giving a little bit of problems. It's just, so it's 3 out of 17 plus uh, a consonant, it's 10 out of 17. And that is going to give me a total. Just want to correct that also. Of 13, let's just write it nice. Okay, that was out of 17. 13 out of 17. That's going to be the final answer. Okay, and then the last one, let's just look at the last one. Uh, the letter U, E, so, oh, it's a lot. It's going to be U, and it's going to be E, and it's going to be a L. Okay, so U was what? Oh, it's just not very nice here. So it's U, E, and a L. It's just struggling with the pen. Okay, let's just correct that. I didn't want to make it an equal sign at least. So it's going to be, and that is going to, what is U? It's 3 over 17. Plus the, okay, E was 2 over 17. Plus the, let's just correct that one. I will calibrate the pin now. Over 17. And plus the letter L. Now let's see if we already have the letter L. No, but we can just find the letter L. Mutually, there was one, two, exclusive. So in there, there's three. So three over 17. And that will give you an answer of eight over 17. 
Okay, and that's the final answer.